Hi, I'm Thomas Barnes. I'm a writer-director and I teach directing craft at the New York Film Academy. One thing I would say is that a director has to deal with different types of actors. Most actors are going to be very collaborative and you can have a really creative relationship together. And I think that directors and actors, when they work on a film, it's a journey they take together. There's a director called Wong Gawai in Hong Kong. He's a really interesting director and has wonderful performances in his films. And he doesn't always have scripts. And that means actors committing to incredible amounts of time because they're going into the shoot day not necessarily knowing what they're going to do or what the shape of the scene is, certainly not even the dialogue, which means lots of experimentation, which means more time, which really is not an easy production to handle. And so only some people can do them. Another one is Mike Lee, a British director, who rehearses for months with the actors. And in rehearsal, the scene is then written because they don't have a script. So that's a method for some people, but that won't work with everybody. It just means you have to have time, and time on films is money, and so it's tricky. You can't imagine them shooting shows like in the old days Law and Order or something, which is like going to war. You have a schedule and boom, you knock out the scenes, right? And then you have a film like Chungking Express with a director like Wong Gawai, where, yeah, they have time on their side, but that must be bought. It's not easy to get. I think in an ideal world, you have a bit of both. Sometimes you get actors who may be more focused on themselves, who may be a little bit more indulgent or need to kind of experiment. And there's a line between giving freedom to an actor to work, especially if you've got rehearsal to do that in, to being on set and kind of overindulging some actors, the rare ones who kind of want to go this way and that way and become very destructive and also time wasting. And so that's something a director might have to deal with. And there's a wonderful few scenes in the movie Living in Oblivion, which I think is a great comic drama about being a director and about making a low budget film. I'm sorry, something's not right. I mean, it all feels like fake to me. It's not fake, it's real. There's a scene where the director played by Steve Buscemi is dealing with this sort of so-called star from Hollywood on this little film. And that character basically has non-stop so-called creative ideas about how to do the scene. And in every scene he does, he tries to change it, usually to make himself look better. And every time he does that, he throws the other actor. And every time he does that, he throws the camera crew who have to change the lighting and the camera setup. And the director, you can see it, is sort of going along with his actor because he's the so-called star and he's sort of indulging him and wanting to have this collaborative relationship. But bit by bit, the actor, the star, is taking over the scene. And bit by bit, he's destroying the scene and the performances are getting worse and the visuals are getting even worse. By the end of the scene, there's literally a fist fight between the director and the actor, and the actor quits, you know. So, I mean, hopefully no one ever has to have an experience quite that bad, but it is a kind of exaggerated version of what can happen when you go down this rabbit hole of talking too much and having too many ideas left, right, and center on set that might have been worked out better in rehearsal and that are now just exploding in the face of production, as it were. But it speaks to a big truth. As a director, you've got to balance things. You've got to balance the production, the uh, time, the shots you've got to get through with the demands of your actors. 